All right. Well, it is not the first time I've said it, but it is the first time I've said it live. Hello, YouTube. Let me get in the kitchen. We can change scenes here. Let me get in the kitchen. We can change scenes here. Let me get in the kitchen. We can change scenes here. Let me get in the kitchen. We can change scenes here. All right, testing. How's that for audio? And I can still hear it on my laptop, so I'm gonna mute that real quick. Hang on just a second. Testing, how's that? All right, I don't hear my voice coming from anywhere else in the kitchen, so I think we're good. <laughs> it's always audio. It is always audio with these things. Just need to make sure that I keep my OBS on top. So that I can do cool things with the remote, like change scenes. Wow. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, this is where I post published recipe videos. Today, we're going to be working on a very gingery ramen. If only we could focus. There we go. I feel like that's better. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Moody, Icepark, hello. <laughs> you may want to change accounts there. Change accounts. <laughs> I am proud. If this is your first time watching a YouTube live stream, uh, we have something in common. I've never caught one live that wasn't like gaming related or, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's just like Twitch basically, but yeah, welcome in everybody. Let me walk you guys through where we're at. I did a little pre-work today to try and make sure that we keep this as short as possible because I understand that like having a two hour VOD of a cooking thing, like nobody's going to watch that on YouTube. So to keep things brief. Wow. Started the broth. This is actually just a reheated broth I had in the freezer already. We just added a bunch of uh, ginger. That's 75 grams of ginger in there now. It's been in there for about 45 minutes to an hour. We're about to add more to that so that we get a fresh ginger taste as well as some green onions. So that's going to be the first thing we do today. I'm going to show you guys the chashu. I'm going to show you guys the noodles. And then we're going to work on toppings the rest of the time. And then it'll be plating. We do, we do have Joseph here as a mod. Thank you, Joseph, uh, who may be disappearing into a meeting, but I hope you enjoy as, as much as you can anyway, as much as you can. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to toss you guys over to the counter camera. Wow. Straighten that out a little bit. Paul Batoy! Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sub. It is also going to be very weird using different vernacular than I use on Twitch. That's not bad. All right, about this massive amount of ginger, we need to weigh out about 75 grams of it. So, looks like that might be it in one. 63, close enough. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna run with that because the rest we need to hang on to for ginger juice and grated ginger topping. <laughs> if you wanna make one, that is totally fine. Also, if you want me to pretend like I don't know who you are, that's acceptable too. Just let me know what you want. There's always a little bit of like hiccups with this stuff when it comes to like new platforms. It's also why I would never consider streaming on Facebook. Christina, hello. How are you? This is my real name 100%. I've seen the birth certificate, it's true. Just don't like change. Well, this is an experiment uh, to sort of see. Well, number one, to see what the, uh, the streaming climate is like on YouTube so that I can speak intelligently about it on the podcast. Uh, but also, you know, it's just a, just an experiment so I can advise people properly on what it's like. This is weird, but okay. It's weird for me too. It's like trying on somebody else's shoes, you know? 
Uh, man. Yeah, I guess there's not really a mature setting on uh, on YouTube, is there? It's just sort of assumed that it's all mature. I checked the box that said this is not made for kids, so. I think swears are okay. Let's just not get overly sexual. I'm not gonna swear though. So you should feel a little bad about swearing. <laughs> if I don't do it, does that make me a party pooper? All right. Probably didn't even need to, uh, didn't even need to peel that. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here are all the bad words. Skits, hello. Uh, I started two hours late because this may surprise you, but changing platforms is difficult. It's difficult. All right, this is about 65 grams of ginger. We're just gonna cut this into medium slices. By the way, everybody, if you have a Twitch username that I would know more than your YouTube username, feel free to let me know in chat. Feel weird not hosting. Dude, a uh, single pair health. Yeah, that's too far. Too far, Moody. <laughs> hey, Vune. Hey, actually, I can fix that. I can fix that. Uh, Miss Kichi, excellent to see you. Ha ha. Gotcha, Vune. I'm just kidding. If you don't want to be mod, that's totally fine, too. Where's the MMO healthcare? No, the shackles. The clipboard has them again. All right, so that was 65 grams of ginger into one liter of soup. And this is like a chicken pork soup with some kombu and stuff in there. Delicious. We're gonna let that go for like roughly another hour and a half, uh, but we need to put these old nasty green onions in there too. I need to use them up. He's got the wrench. It's not a sword here. It's a wrench. Your YouTube partner, I need to be recognized as such. That's true, actually. Why don't they recognize that in chat? That's super weird. I've never modded on YouTube. Neither have I. <laughs> Kane Cow. Hello, sir. The greatest pirate I've ever seen. Get a ticket, 10k. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? All right. The recipe that I'm adapting doesn't have an exact amount for green onions in the soup, so we're just going to add, like, I don't know, however, however many this is. I'm just going to trim these up a little bit because they're old and crusty. Went ahead and changed my Google name. I, well, it's funny because when you sign up for Google, it tries to tell you to use your actual name. But then it's like, well, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm doing quite well, Kane. Thank you very much. Uh, we're stepping into a brave new world of YouTube streaming. Not permanently, probably. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a shot today and uh, see what it's like. I haven't bothered looking into it too much. Yeah, uh, it's big same. All the YouTube, uh, the YouTube requirements, like I got the vanity URL and I was happy, you know? I'm ugly without my internet nickname. I don't think I knew your real name for a long time. I don't think it was like until Zeldathon I learned it. Definitely open Twitch on automatic. <laughs> Welcome, Kyle. YouTube channel's an old man like me. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lucky. I do have an old YouTube account that is not associated with anything that I've done online, but like, it just has a couple of goofy travel videos on there. Nothing too exciting, nothing salacious. This is where all the important stuff is. 
Sounds right. I thought so. I thought so. Anyway, if anybody out there is watching this after the live stream, uh, these people in chat have followed me from Twitch, where I do this type of stuff on the regular. I'm just going to try and be a bit quicker about it today, because I'm in unfamiliar waters. <laughs> The salacious Graham videos, they're, they're not there. I'm the most unsalacious man in North America. Hello, hi, Jan. How did everybody hear about the live stream day? Was it through the Discord notification? We don't have an upload of Wonka Soba yet. I was thinking about that the other day though, cause like the, uh, the Japan VODs that we were showing in Discord got me thinking about it again. Because, like, the live commentary during those streams just wasn't very good. Uh, not to be too critical of myself, but, you know, I was listening back to someone. I was like, yeah, I was saying stuff that, like, I no longer agree with. <laughs> it's like, I ought to just record new voiceover and get all that stuff up, you know? All right. Tall but tall. This big bundle of green onions going in the pot. Wow. Thank you, Jan, for the sub. All right, one hour, one hour. Can you still speak? Uh, let's see, if you go to youtube.com slash account and create a new account with literally any name, you can switch to that account to talk. There you go. Discord. Timeout options separate from delete, yeah. Yeah, it's like the same exact moderation tools from what I can tell. Side note, Kyle, if you'd like a wrench, feel free to let me know. I will I can just mod you right here. Can't believe Bonds is actually dead. He also, even during a normal stream when he's not been deleted, not had his comments deleted, will like take long breaks from chatting, so. Ping you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured uh, the Discord would be, like, a good way to announce these if they ever happen again. But, yeah. All right, so we need to make the tare and the toppings while we're waiting for the soup to finish. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the tare. I've got this saucepan right here. Four ingredients. Soy sauce, tamari, mirin, and ginger juice. Let's get the first three together. I'm using Maru Daizu for the soy sauce. I've got some very nice tamari from Sanjay and some Hawaiian mirin from Takara Honolulu. Get nervous when there's so many people in chat. Some good quality of life improvements here, though. I'm interested to know what those might be from the viewer side. Like, if you guys notice any difference between this and the Twitch experience, I'm keen to know. <laughs> Inconceivable. I'll show them the way. Hoju, I know who that is. Welcome in. Uh, let's see, add moderator. Kyle, you have a wrench. Music's a tad loud, all right. That I actually have to walk to the desk to fix. Hey, Dust. And yes, this is my very first non-testing stream on YouTube. Even though it's still, I guess, a testing stream because I just want to know what it's like. No buffering switching from 1080 to 140p and back. Yeah, so the transcoding is, seems a lot more robust here. And even just watching, like I'm watching live chat on the actual YouTube stream and the camera is like maybe got a four second delay. It's much shorter than, uh, than Twitch is. When someone watches this back, the chat might be gone. I did check the option to make sure the chat gets preserved. So I really hope, I really hope uh, it makes sense watching it back. 
uh, dislike YouTube streams as a viewer because they take like 60% of any donated money. Luckily, I'm not monetized. <laughs> they have to drop YouTube out of theater mode. Yeah, theater mode with chat doesn't really work. Which is handsome bearded man. YouTube has been handsome bearded man. I'm happily content. Hoji, you flatterer. Lack of ads is also not... Yeah, lack of ads. Uh, and this VOD gets saved forever, which is fantastic, you know? Twitch hardly lets me watch at 160. Oh my gosh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about watching on mobile. That's probably way better on YouTube, huh? Yeah, viewing. it's interesting you would mention that because when I was putting in the commands, by the way, everybody's exclamation point menu, exclamation point burp, all that stuff should hopefully work here. Um, but yeah, when I was putting in the commands on uh, Nightbot, which isn't working, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> When I put the commands in on uh, on Nightbot, it did give me a different character level, so I thought that was interesting. Yeah, 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 Dust, no problem. If you, uh, actually, anybody on the Valheim channel in Discord would be happy to help with that. Nightbot is dead. Oh, wait, maybe it's because I didn't mod it. All right, I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later, I'm so disappointed. All right, Tare, 100 mils of soy sauce. Let's measure this out on the counter, actually. Wow. Bwomp, bwomp, bwomp. It's probably because I didn't mod it. Fod Hearn. All right. 100 mils. This is my oldest, nastiest measuring cup. So I don't want any judgment from chat, please. I'm telling you it's gross, therefore it's not gross anymore. All right, let me see if I can, uh, can I do a slash mod? No, no. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going for like 30 to 35 milliliters of tare to a bowl. That's a, that's a little bit more reasonable. Uh, we need 50 mils of tamari. This will bring us to the 150 mil line. The reason I'm using this one is because it has low graduations for, uh, for metric. It's easier to use. <laughs> no. No. Uh, and 30 mils of mirin. Luckily, I have this 30 mil ladle I like to use. We'll be using this for the Tari later. To actually measure it out into the bowl. Alright. And 20 mils of ginger juice, which we are going to grate and press ourselves. I did actually make this recipe on Twitch a few months ago, if you guys remember... It was a lot easier to do this with the uh, grating plate than with the microplane and, or a blender. The blender gave us some trouble too, so I'm just gonna use the plate. I'll judge you and you can't stop me. I wouldn't dare, I wouldn't dare. The bottle beside the scale. Uh, this is Kikoman Marudaizu. So yeah, it's basically a whole soybean soy sauce. It's really good. Sub, hello. If you would like a wrench, let me know in chat. Welcome to the mobile world, everyone. Ms. Kichi, it's better here on mobile than on Twitch, right? That's the impression I'm getting. All right, good. Yay. Anywho, back to work. Have a nice day at work. Wouldn't mind one? I got you, I got you. 
Did you steal Kyle's anywho? My sub should have a wrench now. All right, these we do have to peel kind of aggressively. Just wanna make sure there's no skin left. It didn't really matter for the suit because we're just gonna strain all those pieces out anyway. I do wanna make sure I remove all the, uh, the older bits. from this piece of ginger. Side note, thank you everybody for turning up. I, uh, I, did, I did not expect anyone to actually make the jump over and watch this today. So thank you very much. It's not really stealing, it's just how language works. That's, that's true, especially English. You do so much more streamlined in every way. <laughs> that's a very, that's very Bond story there. Wanting to rebe rebel against your 10th uh, grade teacher. This is a one-time thing. Uh, that is, I, I might do more. I think because these VODs stay up forever as digest more digestible videos, I might do it when there's a recipe that I want to record. And then I can pull clips from it, edit maybe. I don't know. I want to. I want to see what the experience is like. But at this time, I'm not really planning on doing any more. It all just depends. Drop all that in there. All right. Now we're gonna grate this down to a fine paste. Try not to grate our knuckles while we're at it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> our jet testing server changes with offshore. Have fun. The call is better, but I'm not sure about the delay. The delay from... I'm watching on desktop right here. And uh, it seems to be about four seconds. And there's, a, there's an ultra low latency mode that I can turn on if I want to get that down even lower, I think. <laughs> you know, I thought of uh, I thought of bonds as I put that in today. Actually, the location tag. I don't think it actually does anything for like discoverability, but I was like, you know, some people need a reminder. Not naming names, just some people. Oh, this is the driest ginger I've ever used. <laughs> You don't have you listen, you don't have to be good at directions for us to love you. It's important you know that. <laughs> but we just have to accept that from time to time this is gonna come up. <laughs> if somebody is watching and hasn't been here before, uh, I live in Seattle, not Portland. As I understand it, I'm not originally from here, but as I understand it, you don't ever want to accuse somebody from Seattle of being from Portland because they don't they don't take that too kindly here. Exactly. Well, and that's the thing, right? It's like you've you've got Kyle to, to you know have your back on on geography. And to be fair, it's not like you said Atlanta. You know, I mean, you would have been way off. Switch so stream to 2x speed. Oh no. <laughs> what, what does it do when you get up to current? It's like the Aussie New Zealand device. In a way, yeah. It's not as offensive as like asking if I was from uh, San Francisco. They really don't like San Francisco here or any city in California for that matter. Something about bad drivers? I don't know. I don't know. What does it do? You have to describe it to me. Just switches back to normal speed when you catch. So I guess what that is intended to do is like if you clip and you want to get caught up and not miss anything, you can watch it in 2x. That's terrible. 
Why would YouTube subject me to that? <laughs> Why would YouTube subject me to that? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know what? We'll call it a feature. We'll call it a feature. Ah! Just sprayed myself with ginger. Voice, yeah, yeah, it's like I'm on helium. I do actually watch long videos on YouTube and fast forward pretty frequently because, you know, something's like 18 minutes long and I want to watch it, but I don't have 18 minutes. Like, I do have nine minutes. <laughs> Wait, can you can you then clip stuff in slow motion and fast forward? Because that actually sounds like hysterical. Should have researched all this before, uh, <laughs> before streaming on here. Giving you guys all these extra toys. All right. Somebody in chat want to tell me uh, how many milliliters are in a tablespoon? I think it's 15. So I'm about to have to grate more ginger. Got to get Maddie alerts to play in slow-mo. Well, there's no bits equivalent right now. So I don't know how to work in Maddie alerts. Slow-mo dinosaur horse. Five mil per teaspoon. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm there then. Don't need to grate any more ginger, because you can see it's the one tablespoon line, wherever it is. There it is. So we're done. We just got to add that to this. And boom, that's Atari. It's like that song. That's Atari. This thing is too much ginger. Well, we've got 150 grams of it in the soup. And uh, 20 milliliters of freshly grated ginger juice in there. We're gonna cook this on the uh, stove. Just heat it up to boil wow. and then let it cool down again. And that's gonna be our salt for the soup. The soup is entirely unsalted up till now. Oh yeah, post the link. I want to see what happens. Oh, okay. So I probably don't have clips yet. Automatically removes hot linking. All right. Noise. I feel like that's a good way of handling it, especially like, I don't know, I imagine there probably is a feature I can turn on somewhere. Yeah. All right. Vune, since you're here, I'm gonna do the chashu next. I already cooked it, so you're just gonna be here for the exciting part, which is the slicing. Less interesting. Well, there's no emotes, right? Not yet, anyway. Emotes. Uh, I don't think there's like threads or anything like that or replies. Imperial spoons and cups are spirit and metric for cooking, but not ounces and pounds. Uh, spoons and cups are all right for volumetric. Well, I think spoons are all right, but uh, cups uh, we could get rid of, and I'd be happy about it. Uh, Joseph fixed it. Interaction's way more limited. Yeah. Feet and disappear for measuring human height, but nothing else. How do you feel about stone for, for human weight? I think it's too big a unit. 
trolls get shadow banned automatically. Use proper URL noobs. Kilograms only. We've been at it for, you know, well over 100 years at this point. 200 years at this point. 300. The 1800s, right? Centimeters is more precise measurement for height, in my opinion. Centimeters make sense because you can easily break that into meters, too, right? You just throw a decimal in there and you're good. Makes perfect sense to me. Makes perfect sense. We do actually have, one of the features that we do have here is uh, polls. So, moderators, I'm curious, curious if you can see the poll option down there beneath chat. Leah, hello, I know who you are. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Kane was in here a second ago. Once, uh, 160 something is tough to visualize for a human, breaking into smaller units is nicer. You do like 1.6, right? How do you add people? Yeah, that I don't know. Is he still here? Well, hello again. Don't see a poll in here? Really? So like below the chat? It's on desktop for me. But maybe it's only available to me. Can you vote in this poll? Yes or no? Just add and start typing their name? Oh, okay. Moves the cursor if you use tab. Oh, gotcha. So you can't use tab to autofill. That's kind of cool. I like the pole. Oop. That's boiling. I'm going to let that cool down. Move it over there. Turn that burner off. Oh, you press enter to autofill. Okay. If they couldn't vote, how could they vote no? Excellent bias observation. Somebody did vote no, though. <laughs> no, I agree on the Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, I think, has a usable place. The poll is slit. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like that it shows up at the, up at the top. I'm curious uh, if it's visible on mobile. Tap still autofills, but moves the cursor to you. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, there's no tab on mobile, I guess, so. Name shows up as gray before the mod blue overlays it. What's funny is I did hear, and I'm curious to see if the mods from one stream carry over to the next. Because there's a way to mod somebody in my account settings. I'm guessing that's what I have to do for Nightbot. But all the people that I've modded during the stream today, I'm curious if there'll be mods for the next stream. Got some research to do. Got some research to do. All right, I promised some Chashu. I was promised Chashu. Wow. Hey, Liz. Hello, hello. Raph, welcome in. I'm gonna put my hand in it without hurting myself. Think of Fahrenheit as the percentage chance of it feeling too hot. <laughs> Adjust that down a bit. All right. So this is a chashu I cooked. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I cooked this at like 2 in the morning. Last night. It's been marinating overnight. Let's throw a little uh, protective sheet down. Going to get a nice cross section. See what it looks like here. So it'll be a mod until you're removed. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Cups is useful for baking. That is like the only time I would ever want to use cups, to be honest. Even then, I feel like grams is more a bit more precise. But that's just a case of a weight versus volume, really. The volumetric measurement doesn't particularly matter to me. Grim please. Your shadow band earlier. <laughs> Cut that meat. Oh, I'm ready. So this was, uh, we actually just poached this in water and did a very flavorful, very gingery marinade. Uh, and I'm really curious to see how it came out. This is sort of an experimental batch. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's a non-zero chance that it's just going to be very dry. 
but even dry, once it's floating in the soup and everything, it tastes fine. And this is shoulder chashu, it's not belly. So it's a, a bit healthier. Although, uh, let's face it, not that much. <laughs> let's face it, not that much. Linking to Twitch is auto-modded, really? Cups makes it super easy to remember, right? Yes, yes. That is true. You have faith. Thank you, Liz, for the faith. I always accept faith. Why did I just lie to you right now? <laughs> I need to get better at accepting faith. All right. So this is just string that I tied around it to help hold its shape during the cooking process. So without this stuff, it is uh, liable to uh, sort of fall apart. The reason we cut it when it's cold is so that it also holds its shape a little bit better. I'm modding Twitch links. No need to be petty, YouTube. My grandson for Bacon seems to make fewer dishes. Wonder if I can change my name to Dust? Yeah, there is an option to do it in your account settings. You could actually have, like, Skildren on one side and Dust on another, and then you could flip-flop back and forth as you wanted. <laughs> Dude, I remember when YouTube first came out. Here's what's wild. When, when YouTube first came out, I thought it was like a non, well, I didn't think it was a good idea. I was like, this is so stupid. It, it compresses the video as you upload it. I'm like, this is never gonna take off. That was in like 05, and then in 06 or 07 was it Google bought it? I was like, oh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> video quality uh, in Switch is pretty decent too, but chat doesn't work. In Switch? Are you watching on the Switch? Is that possible? Nasty default H.264 compression. Well, at the time, it was like... Uh, at the time, I think it was FLV or something. Like, it was... It just didn't look good. But yeah, obviously, things have improved. All right. I'm going to cut on a bias so that we get larger slices. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That looks all right. Small, but all right. We're going to toast these before we put them in the soup also. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the whole thing. Sort of looks like that... Uh, Minus the red coating, the uh, the Chinese style barbecue pork, actually. So this is an experimental batch of chashu that I'm not expecting great things from. But we're gonna try a little bit of a little bit of the end piece here for quality control, obviously. It's very gingery. It's not nearly as dry as it looks either. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thank you, Miskichi, for testing. I appreciate that. Don't know why I would why, why I would watch this on YouTube. I could watch it on Newgrounds. Exactly my thinking back in 2005. Exactly my thinking. Newgrounds does still exist. The home oh, did the Homestucks crash it? <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. That is delicious. This is really good. The more I think about it, the, the, the better it tastes. I'm going to set up some of the larger slices for today. And then the rest we'll just put in like a like a Tupperware. So these are going to be the demo pieces. We're going to toast those with a torch. 
Everything else I'm going to put in a bowl for later. I was on Newgrounds so much in 2005. Yeah. I spent a lot of time over there. Back in my... the I, We had like the college dorm experience. Uh, me and Mythic Forge, Brian. We're like... It's such a it's such a vibe. It was like 2003, watching Newgrounds videos, sending each other links to cool ones. I even had some stuff up there. Not gonna lie. All right, saving that for later. This stuff is, makes like excellent fried rice, by the way. Cut this in cubes. More often than that, that's what we do with the leftovers around here. Everyone I used to follow on Newgrounds moved on, yeah. That thought aftertaste. Wait, what is that? The reflection is the best spice? That that doesn't sound right. Uh, to YouTube or Fred. Yeah, a shocking number of people that were on Newgrounds back in my day, like our pros now. Uh, one of my good friends, I found out recently he was on. He's, uh, he might still be on Twitch, actually. Well, I should reconnect with that dude. But yeah, he went from, uh, he went from, like, Newgrounds and his own website to, uh, to, uh, Neopets. Worked on Neopets for a long time. I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Translated to a real job, you know? And I understand that I said the word Neopets was just going to drive some of you absolutely crazy. <laughs> There's food streams on YouTube? A DeviantArt kid, yes. Amanda also was on DeviantArt. I was not an artist. Still not an artist. So, I never made an account on DeviantArt, but I had many friends that were over there. YouTube good streams, wave of the future. We'll see. I was also a Neopets kid. Any new people stop by? Nah. Can I be a YouTube mod? No. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If in the name of research, in the name of research, I'll allow it. Here you go, Ma. Here you go, Taz. Look at the options so you can speak about it intelligently on the podcast, and then and then that'll be it. I'll turn it off. <laughs> All I do is look at other people's art. I'm no artist. Yeah, yeah. That's been my to the sum total of my relationship with DeviantArt. Amanda, you've typed it. You're going to be streaming soon, as soon as your tablet comes in. All right. Amanda's now a moderator as well. <laughs> Playing with fire. What's the worst that could happen? He doesn't know how any of this works. I, it, Without getting Nightbot to type in chat, I would have to go into my desktop thing. So I, I, don't, I don't think I can do it from here. Okay. I'm going to unmod Taz now. Because he's looked at the mod tools, and now he can talk about them. Um, okay, so Tari's done. Chashu's pretty much ready. Uh, we're going to blanch some spinach. Is this cool enough to transfer now? Yes. Let's get a, let's get a nicer... Let's get a nicer container for this. Let me get one of my, uh, one of my ball jars here. This also won't shatter when it gets hot, or even warm liquid put into it. Hey! <laughs> you know what? I felt the hoe proud in my heart. I felt the hoe proud in my heart. Devin, it's good to see you. Also, happy anniversary to you guys, by the way. Doesn't <laughs> work here. Website broken. satisfying fit. Kind of sorry I said that with Chris and Devin around. 
I've been married for four years, which is three years less than me and Amanda. Not that it's a race. Supposed to be ordering dinner. <laughs> Can't watch YouTube while doing something else as twi- Oh no! Like the little picture-in-picture -picture thing on mobile? Doesn't work? I'm gonna watch this video back and I'm gonna take note of absolutely every bit of feedback I'm getting from you guys. Miss Kichi, keep it coming. This is really good research, actually. I'll catch up someday. <laughs> It's not a race. It's not a race. Alright, we need to blanch some spinach. Some spinch. Alright. Shoga shoyu tare. Delicious. Feedback, the red is nicer. Still colorblind? It's not a race. I voted no, I'm sorry. My data, Liz. My data. Spinch. Yeah, the poll uh, hasn't gone away. Oh, I have the option to end it. I have the option to end it. Does it publish the results or is, does it leave it to me to... Uh... Oh, there it goes. It dropped them in chat. Can you vote in this poll? Uh, yes, 89%. No, 10%. What happened to that missing 1%? I don't know. <laughs> Purple is superior. <laughs> Who else disliked with me? <laughs> Devin showing up disliking my videos. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, what was I going to do? Spinach. Spinch. I had to buy the fancy organic stuff because the regular looks awful. Really awful. <laughs> hey, George. Yeah, did you look me up in that leak? Uh, you can find me by downloading that torrent, uh, pulling the list of payouts, and scrolling way, way down. <laughs> way down. Do we have alerts? We do, for new subscribers. And that's pretty much it, because that's the only feature I have over here. No bits. I'm not really monetized yet, so none of that stuff. I could integrate with PayPal or something, but I haven't, so don't do that. And one cent. Feedback. Alerts. Thanks. Thanks, Devin. Just subscribed. It might take a second to come through. I don't really know what the turnaround time is on alerts here. Came through quick when I uh, when I tested though. I'm even gonna download 125 gigs for that. <laughs> to be honest, searching through chat in there has to be just a terrible exercise. It is very likely not worth it. No sunny broken website. Yeah, there's no way to do sunny treats here yet, guys. I think that needs to be amended soon. All right, you guys want to see some nice spinch? <laughs> Dislike. <laughs> hey, Graham, give Sunny a try. Yeah, that works. Oh, look at her. She came in. She heard me say her name like four times, so... All right, now Amanda wants a treat. And you want some, you want some spinach? There you go. <laughs> She's just let me bat her in the face with it, basically. Website's fixed. I know, Amanda and Sunny make everything better. What are you doing? Amanda wants to say hi. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> That's it. Devin says she likes your sweater. All right. This is it. This is the number one most requested feature on YouTube. Look how happy she is. Sunny, this is a very cute tail wag. Cute tail wag, Sunny. 
Be gentle. This Saturday's Saturday, Sunday day. Brian, I hate to tell you, but it's Thursday. No, he's asking if we're bringing her over on Saturday so we can go apple picking. Yes. Oh, yes, that is true. Also, what's the state of your juicer? <laughs> if we uh, if we bring over a bunch of apples afterwards to juice, can you dust that thing off and have it ready, or? Uh... It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's July. Apply juice. Eple. Apartment is mostly sunny, ready. All right, good. A night uh, after spending all night pooing myself, I reckon I lost three inches off my waist. I'm proud? Question mark? Also, I'd like to go ahead and crown Minnesota Taz uh, for having the first ever poo joke on this channel. Thank you, Taz. For... <laughs> for breaking that particular distinctive seal. It better not be July. It's Thursday, the 15th of the work week. The 15th day of the work week. Out of touch Thursday. <laughs> Juicer, I hardly know her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poop. All right. A little bit of hot water. I like that I said I was going to rip through this really quick and I'm just falling into like the old habits. All right, and then after this, got to grate a little more ginger, cut some nori. We can do that while the spinach is cooling down. Yes, my juicer is in my closet. Excellent. Would you like to juice together? Would you like to juice some juicy apples? We're going to, so we're doing a live stream apple picking event on Saturday on Twitch. And uh, we're using improvised tools to remove apples from trees. We're thinking about turning a coat hanger into sort of an apple picker. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to make Minnesota Taz's mom's apple crumble. Uh, very excited about that. I'm going to have to, because I want a careful diet, I'm going to have to break it out into like nine days. We're going to have to eat it over the course of like nine days. But, very excited about that. I'm not playing sport. The friends that juice to get, oh man. How does that end? Uh, <laughs> yeah, am I going to get shadow banned for talking about Twitch? I don't know. Don't know. Use a giant fork. Well, we were going to use a coat hanger, right? Twist a hook at the end, put the hook around the apple, and then pull. And it should separate it from the stem pretty easily. If the apples are ripe. Uh, why YouTube, though? Like, why YouTube today? Because I needed to know. <laughs> the easiest way to find out was just to do this. This was the easiest way to do it. I have a podcast where I have to talk intelligent, intelligently about streaming sometimes. Very, very rarely. Uh, wow. And YouTube streaming is a bit of a, uh, bit of a hot topic at the moment, so I thought I'd just, just give it a shot. <laughs> How about a whisk? <laughs> For apples? <laughs> Let me know when you're dropping off Sunny back to work. All right. I think it'll it'll be early, but yeah, we'll send you a message. I want to know all your real names. My name's Graham. My dog's name is Sunny, and my wife's name is Amanda. How's BB Whisk? I got it right here. Oh, wait. I lied. I got it right here. Oh no. Oh no. There's zero chance it's gone. So I don't wanna I don't wanna make anybody panic. I don't wanna make anybody panic. It's like a USB cable, right? You were right the first time. And then you second guess yourself and pick the wrong drawer. It hurts you, Liz. Hurts you twice. Adorable. <laughs> but the V sounds like a shh. Wait, wait, wait. 
My real name is Steven, but the V sounds like a shh. A high whisk scenario. A womp womp. I'm sure this is even helpful. Does anyone even, uh, even default associate this with my handle who doesn't already know my name? That I don't know. That I don't know. I've known your full name for a while, though, so it's, it's hard to remember. I don't even know why I started calling you Kyle. Uh, what's it been, like two years now? 20 years? Two decades? All right, so this is steaming, but not boiling. So we're gonna put in half the spinch. And just get it wilted. Like seriously, a minute is all it's gonna take. Oop, just straight up poked a hole in it. We're gonna fill a bowl with some cold water and use that to shock it when it's done. Second stream after he got modded. The letters we sent back and forth, that's right, that's right. Got a postcard from Japan sent back a thank you card. Uh, uh, by the way, if you're ever going to get a thank you card, everybody, get one from Kyle. Do something nice for Kyle. Because he will send you a stamped and wax envelope with a handwritten thank you card in there. It's the classiest thank you I've ever received. Shock the spinach. I wonder if he would appreciate that. Definitely answer my real name when streaming, yeah. Kyle, Kyle is a classy guy. Ooh, all right. Remove that in waves over to the cold water. Dude, what is it? Like, steamed spinach smells great. I don't know if I'm in the minority there, but uh, I do love it. All right, wait for that water to heat back up. So plenty of wax, running low on monogrammed cards. The, this is what I'm talking about. It was like the nicest thank you card I've ever received. It smells amazing. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. I was hoping you in particular would agree. That's about ready. We did this in halves because it's just sort of a small pan. And it's a lot of spinach. Even after we plate the round, I'm probably going to eat all this spinach today because I love it. Smells like chlorophyll. Non-digestible. Non-digestible pigment. Well, it's not pigmentation. It's the uh, the photosynthesis chemical, right? Custom job was pricey. Yeah. Just don't like my name, so I go by my interwebs. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think Amanda knows more people's names than I do. I think. All right. There we go. Perfect. Oops, that's the wrong burner. All right. I'm gonna change this water at once just so it stays nice and cold. And the spinach is like so thin it has no problem reheating in the broth. All right, I'm gonna start heating up the noodle water because we're getting near the end. I'm going to risk the fire alarm going off. Wow. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna use a low power burner though, which I think helps. I don't remember. Whoops. Did you know my name? Yes. Have a good rest of your stream. Good luck with YouTube and plating. Thank you very much, Liz. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping in. Cooking food under one hour. I did a lot of prep work today ahead of stream, George, because uh, your boy was nervous about this. So I'm literally making food I've made before. I did a bunch of pre-work. Introduce myself formally. I mean, I want everyone to feel comfortable, whether they're meeting me in person or online. I don't know, guys. This is starting to look really good. toasty. A little toasty on there. Maybe I will switch to the larger burner, though, because uh, that took a while. Oh, there's the alarm. All right, we'll skip the rest. <laughs> All right, well. That's what it would look like. Just pretend they all look like that. Just pretend they all look like that. It'll be fine. Thanks, Amanda. Uh, Devo, call, Devo called Bonds by his internet name about half the time, even in the meat space. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bonds' name. We did it. We beat the game. All right. So here's the noodles. If anyone would like to see these made, uh, you can see a very similar noodle being made on one of the videos on this channel. Vegan miso ramen recipe. The only difference with these is they have a little bit of egg white powder in them to make them a little bit more slippery. I've got them over here by the stove just so they can sort of warm up. And what's next? Shall we do green onions? Let's grate some ginger first. I feel like that's gonna take a little longer. That should be enough for two plates. Just lost the game and so did you. I quit playing years ago. Amanda got her thing. <laughs> Amanda got her tablet. She's very excited. It's really big. <laughs> oh my God. That is massive. Set it up. She's gonna be doing drawings, I think, on Twitch later today. Package. Package. All right, where did that plate go? There it is. Simple, easy spell, one syllable name, super easy, yes. I do actually really like Bonds' name. Very easy to remember. Dude, I should have used this ginger for the juice. This is like... so much... not drier. Alright, we're just gonna put a little bead of uh, grated ginger on top of each bowl. Just for a little freshness. Set that aside, and still need some green onions. Spoiling you guys today, I just bought some fresh ones last night. Now, if only I could find the scissors, there they are. Ginger always clogs my, dude, ginger on a microplane is like, it seems like it should work really well, but it almost never does. This thing was like $4 at an Asian market, and uh, it does 
not just ginger, but garlic and uh, daikon really, really well. It'll go through like a whole daikon radish in like 45 seconds. It's amazing. <laughs> Kyle, there is a food and drink streamer who I will not name. Uh, who's name that they go by on Twitch is not their real name. I think there's two partnered food and drink streamers like that. And, uh, yeah. Going out with one of them was, uh, was interesting. When would one use grated daikon? Good question, Leah. Uh, actually, here on YouTube, there's a, uh, a Japanese cooking channel that's relatively new that I recommend everybody check out called Champ's Japanese Kitchen. Uh, but he just did a recipe yesterday or the day before for a fried tofu dish. Uh, totally vegan, uh, but it's served with grated daikon on top, just as a little extra spice. A little watery, sort of very, like, flavorful spice. It's really good. Anything grilled or fried, though, tastes great with a little grated daikon. I'll go through your daikon radish for you. Joseph! Is it like a regular name, though? Yeah, yeah, it's a regular name. It's a regular name that they chose that is different from their own real regular name. I mean, as, as regular as names are, anyway. <laughs> Daikon Snicks. Sticks as a vegetable snack. I combined stick and snack into one word there. Um, yeah, absolutely. They also pickle up real good. If you cut them into little matchsticks and uh, soak them in a little vinegar and water, uh, vinegar, water, and a little bit of sugar, like a sweetened vinegar solution, um, delicious pickles. Really, really good. All right, I'm gonna separate the white parts from the green. This is my favorite way to cut green onions. If you have your favorite way, feel free to do the same. I just want a pile to set the uh, the grated ginger on. It's my goal. I want to pile on top of the bowl. Fermented daikon would be very good, but it was a banh mi veggie blend, but fermented... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's like the shredded carrots and the daikon. It's so tasty. Oops. Should be enough green onion for two bowls. Go around telling people to call me Michael and that would be my name. That's true. That is how names work, right? <laughs> Korean wing place near us uh, does pickled daikon as a side. Unfortunately, I hate them. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is that called in Korean? Somebody's going to know in chat, I bet. But all the side dishes are called like panchan. All the side dishes you get with Korean barbecue and the, the sweet... Uh, uh, like, uh, uh, daikon and carrot pickles. One of my favorites. So nice. It's a bit disappointing to hear you hate them, Kyle. All right, again, cold water for the onions. That gets rid of some of the bad smell. It'll firm up the texture, and perhaps most importantly... It'll make them kind of curly. Makes them kind of curly so that they, uh, you can build them up a little higher on the plate. It looks nicer. And all they need is like five minutes. Hate the place or hate the pig? Ah, that's an important distinction. 
Got in little cubes and I've used them as a palate cleanser, but it was just way too much like entire cup of these. <laughs> oh, so good. All right, noodle water is almost ready. So we're down to the wire here. Um, oh yeah, nori. Let's get a sheet of sushi nori cut up. That's gonna be like our last topping. If I was a good streamer, I would have found this earlier. And we're just using like grocery store brand sushi nori. Wing place is fantastic. Bonzo, I'll happily take you by high wings. Or Ichiban ramen. So I'd say I gotta make it down to Austin first. I feel that I've been on a very careful diet for like a week now but good news uh, today I weighed in let's see I think six pounds lighter than I did when I started uh, to be fair I started tracking weight before I started dieting but yeah very happy with uh, with progress so far Today's sort of a reward. Just fast for two days before. Problem solved. <laughs> totally healthy. All right, we're going to use the crispiest squares. Let's cut them into long rectangles. I, li I like rectangles better than just squares. There we go. All right, just got to keep these dry because the second they get wet, they will uh, ruin themselves. All right, and I think we're ready to get everything sort of staged here. All right, for clear soups, I really like to use my patterned bowls. Yep, the one from the thumbnail, actually. So we got, I'll use that one. And then this is actually the bowl from the thumbnail. So we'll use that one first. We do need to fill both of them with hot water to preheat. Just using the uh, the water that we'll be using to cook noodles. Oh yeah, and you'll notice I'm not using an aroma oil today. That's because there's enough chicken oil in the, in the broth already. I throw a little sesame oil on top to finish, though. I'm gonna go before I move it, didn't get a chance. Go every so often, but Tatsu is expensive. How, how expensive is expensive for ramen? I'm just curious. Because I, like, rarely go out for ramen. <laughs> Not much ramen here where I live now. Oh man, there's a... Uh... The Wave Ramen podcast, they interviewed a uh, lady that runs... Well, she I don't know if she runs it or just owns it, but she owns a ramen restaurant called, I think, Otaku Ramen, somewhere in Tennessee, uh, specializing in tonkotsu ramen. Uh, that might be worth looking into. Like udon more than ramen. I, you know what's funny is like, I think everybody probably does have like a preference between the big three Japanese noodles, right? Udon, soba, and ramen. Uh, a lot of people think of me as the ramen guy, 
But like, uh, Soba is my first love. First love. All right, so these are preheating. I'm just gonna run down the list, make sure we have everything ready. So, Tare, ready to go. I'll just go ahead and put the, uh, put the measuring ladle in there. This is exactly a 30 milliliter ladle. So it's perfect for measuring out single portions of tare. Make sure that's, uh, that's focused. Uh, noodles are ready to go. Noodle water is what we're waiting on. Soup is ready to go. Toppings. We've got chashu. We've got spinach. We've got green onion. We've got grated ginger. And we've got a sheet of nori. Perfect. I'm actually going to put my list over here so I don't forget anything. Because I always do. have to go as sleepy times. I would say it's late over there. Rest well, Jan. We'll see you around. Thoughts he runs 10 to 14 a bowl? Yeah. Yeah. Cool 83-year-old streamer who does food, karaoke, and other things. She's awesome. I will leave a link in the Discord. She's on Twitch. Sure. <laughs> Every time I hear about something like that, George, it always makes me laugh. Because, like, I hear people who are, like, 27 going, like, am I too old to stream on Twitch? Am I too old to live stream? What's a more affordable ramen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, what is everyone's expected price for, for a bowl of ramen? Because around here, uh, $10 to $14 is pretty cheap. Don't think it's that expensive. My conversion might be off. 14 bucks. I feel like if on the West Coast, like, 14 to 18 bucks is not unheard of. You know, um, when or skits posted the menu from uh, from Ramen Shack, the one in uh, uh, San Juan Capistrano. And I think that was like 12 to 18 bucks. But the $18 ones had like expensive ingredients in there. You know, it was like a lot more fish, a lot more like imported ingredients. Food here is expensive in general. I think I've heard that from a couple friends who've traveled around down there. So like it was like the same the same cost as in the states basically. Oh hello dust, the real dust pirate. All right, we're rolling boil over here. I'm gonna keep the remote on me so we can uh, swap back and forth. We're gonna use the new noodle basket here today. I think we're ready. All right. Wow. Swap you guys over to the stove. I'm going to turn the soup back on high just to get it boiling hot. I'm going to set my bowl aside for later. And we'll work on Amanda's for now. So this hot water from the bowl, I can just, because this is a nice clean bowl, I can just pour this right back in the noodle water. start getting stuff staged. So, actually, let me start you guys on the counter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a weird double wow. Chili's the most expensive around here. Uh, Leah, yes. Actually, they do have a vegan miso option, and uh, the owner of that restaurant is probably the most prolific ramen chef in America. You should definitely track it down. Skits uh, went there, had the vegan ramen, said it was excellent. Sushi plays are typically hit. The soups are around six bucks and very good. Ah, okay. All right. There's the tare. Normally I'd put a little bit of aroma oil in here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway. Let's throw in some, uh, some sesame oil. I'm feeling it. Just about that much is all it's gonna need. Cause like I said, there's a little bit of chicken oil in the broth still. Make sure that stays nice and focused. Ramen shack, ramen shack. 
A little less for the Kitsune Udon. A little more for the Tonkotsu Ramen. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I would imagine that uh, a lot of places probably wind up using, like, pre-made bases and things. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, wanting to turn a profit. But the energy costs for Tonkotsu Ramen are massive. Massive. All right. Move you guys over to the stove. Wow. These are coated in just a little bit of potato starch. Keep them from sticking. Just gonna give them a little stir to loosen them up. They don't take long to cook, like maybe 90 seconds. Ramen they serve is actually pretty good. I would, I would love to try it. I would love to try it. Ramen in America is in such a, like, sort of like a unique place right now because culturally it's so different from the way they serve it in Japan. And Japan is like straight up fast food. Here in the States, it's almost like a little bit fancy, you know? All the fanciest ramen places all have like a full service bar. <laughs> and they'll, they're like just as good at making gyoza and like fried chicken as they are making ramen. And it's just really interesting. Really interesting to see that. All right, so they're floating, so that means they're almost done. We're gonna go ahead and transfer some of the broth over. All right. Wow. This is my favorite part. You guys ready? This is my favorite part, is seeing... Whoop. Scoot that up. Seeing what the broth is gonna look like. Can't see anything because of the steam. It smells good. And it's important that you taste it at this stage to make sure that it's seasoned well. And if you need to add any more tare, you can. But that's very good. chopsticks to sort of turn that real quick. And this does a good job of evenly distributing the tare, but also gives you sort of a nice surface to, to plate on there. All right, Chashu. We got the one piece <laughs> that's uh, toasted and the rest is not. Throw a little bundle of spinach on the side. Some green onions. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything here on my cheat sheet. Could have been curlier. Some grated ginger. Oh, that's so blurry. There we go. And I gotta make sure my hands are really dry for the nori. Put that there. There we go. One very gingery bowl of ramen. <laughs> Kyle, please. As I'm going even for our cheat meal. 
birthday cake pics on Saturday. Baby turns eight. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Yeah, Leah, Ramen Shack just opened recently. Uh, Kezo, the chef, uh, he used to run it in New York. But he moved out to California and took a job uh, as a, sort of a brand director from Yojo Noodles or something. But he also runs the restaurant. And it's, it's famous. Among people that know ramen, that place is, like, famous. All right. I'm going to serve this to my wife. Not going to bother taking a photo. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Sonny, none of this is for you, I promise. I don't worry, Amanda. Don't worry. Now, let's do number two here. SJC is very close. Thanks for telling me about it. I am jealous you get to go and I don't. Uh... So I kind of regret telling you. <laughs> I'm joking. Enjoy. Seriously, let me know how it is. If you come away with any flavor impressions from the vegan ramen there, I want to know. Because I am uh, out to steal that man's tips. Just going to say it like it is. I want all those tips and tricks. noodles. And this is going to be my lunch slash dinner. Because I accidentally started two hours later than I thought I would. It's so difficult when you get to the bottom of the pot of soup and you're like... Trying to use a measuring ladle to get all the soup out. There we go. Let's do a bit better on this one. Make sure that I'm, there you go. You can see the bubbles on top. That's what I want. That's what I want right there. And <laughs> docs. You know me, but I shall not talk to myself. Uh, it's okay. I don't. I mean, I, I do know who you are. I won't say here, but uh, if you want to create a new account under your Google account, you can swap to and from the different accounts on there. I don't know if somebody in chat wants to point out the options for uh, for you know who there. I was streaming. It's been interesting. This is an interesting experience streaming over here. It's like wearing somebody else's shoes. Have details in the Discord. Perfect. Perfect. I'll probably include that stuff in the go live if I if I do this again. I must do. <laughs> These are all issues I am sensitive to. And uh, as always, if anybody watching has any feedback that they'd like to provide on the viewer experience here on YouTube, feel free to let me know. Noodles are good. Come on, you. All right. Add our managed account, then add a new one. There you go. Change my whole Google name. Yeah. Put away the rest of the chashu. Whoops. Give me 
use the thinner pieces first. The thicker pieces are good for fried rice later. Let those reheat in the broth a little bit. Because we can't use the torch. Important to Google for some reason to have my name, so I just rolled with it. Yeah. Because you're important. Exactly. It's all it's all an ad game. Until you keep the chashu from us. Well, I use the good pieces for Amanda's bowl. That's uh that's my normal MO. I take the subpar for myself. Who am I kidding? I want a bunch of green onion on there. Green onion is like my absolute favorite part. See how much curlier those are than they were a few minutes ago? Should have given them more time. That's why I'm taking a photo of this bowl. There are some chashu, I think. Yes, exactly. It is a uh, sort of a Japanified version of, the, of a Chinese word. Jokes on Google, I block all the ads. All right, I'm gonna put the ginger right there. I'm gonna add a little extra of that too. Fresh grated ginger, delicious. All right. We're, we're hitting the point in the stream too where I'm like, I know, th I know there's no rating, <laughs> but I kind of wish there was. All right. Let me take a quick photo of this. Everybody say cheese. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I would like to eat that. You blog origin streaming your best. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dust. We gotta give it the old sample here. But yeah, for anyone watching on YouTube later, this is a recipe adapted from Ramen Kaunashi, which is another ramen YouTuber. And this recipe is so good and works with almost any kind of broth you can think of. Um, so yeah, we just adapted a few things, but I've got the full recipe, more or less, in the description. So you can check the description box for that. Um, I'm gonna eat this, and I guess we're ending stream. <laughs> He's brave since built in a native desktop browser, yeah. Ublock is the best. Nice, George, nice. Congrats, man. That's awesome. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope somebody out there tries making this recipe sometime because it's very good. It's one of my favorites. Um, but we'll be back on Twitch tomorrow, as a matter of fact. I don't know what I'm making yet. We got all these noodles. Maybe I should use those. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone have a nice night. I will see you guys later. And... Uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll do this again sometime. Maybe we'll do this again. But thanks to everybody who tuned in. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye!